Hello everyone and welcome to Rick's Flicks. A very exciting day on Rick's Flicks. We are here for the very first passholder preview of what? The Velocicoaster! Can you wait any longer? No, let's go! No, oh, you have to wait a little bit longer. What? <laughs> but let's at least go check it out. Alright, let's go! I said you had to wait a little bit, Nikki, because it's only 8 o'clock. Our boarding time is 9.30. You're not really going to be scared, are you? We're just building the anticipation, but are you really scared? Um, a little. I'm not going to lie, yeah. I mean, that's how I get every time before we go on a roller coaster anyway. Oh, and this one... Let alone one that is intense. And one you've never been on, you don't know what to expect. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I'll, okay, I'll give you a pass. All right, thanks. Don't be scared. Just be a little nervous. All right. I think I'm more excited than scared. Okay. All right, there we go. Now I am nervous about something. It's not really the coaster. I'm nervous because we are actually live streaming later on and filming this vlog. Double duty, something I've never done before. We'll see how it goes. Normally when I'm at Islands of Adventure, I have to decide left or right. The sign is telling me which way to go. I don't have to make that decision today. We're going left for the pass order preview. A word of warning, I'm only operating on like three and a half, four hours of sleep. I don't want to say like it's a kid at Christmas time, but I did not get a lot of sleep last night. I was, yeah, I was wondering, is it because you were excited? Anticipating the ride. Yeah, because you got me up. Normally I'm the one waking you up, but yeah, you got me up this that's morning. That's true, it's funny. So. I did wake you up. Yes, you did. <laughs> and that's because I couldn't sleep waiting for this coaster. Before we get to the Veloci coaster, let's show the Jurassic Park River Adventure some love with Nikki's Scream Splash Laugh t-shirt. Now available at MyRicksFlicks.com And we got over here just in time for the first test run of the day. No people on it yet, but this eases my worry. I was a little worried it might open delayed and throw off the whole schedule for today. But thank goodness, first test run without people. We'll have people on this soon enough. Right now, it's not happening, but oh, actually, we can't. There it goes. That is the pre show to the coaster, just getting me excited. Uh, I'm nervous. You know what? I'm not nervous. I am actually hoping we get lucky enough for the front row. I want front row on this one. I think, Why would you say that? I think for this coaster, front row going over that top hat, I think front row will be best. Fingers crossed we get that. Oh, okay. We'll know for sure once we ride it, but I have been talking to team members who have tested the coaster. They are telling me this now makes the Hulk look like a kiddie coaster, or it makes the Hulk look like the flight of the hippogriff. Uh, if that's any indication of what we're going to experience. Oh Lord. But stay tuned, we'll let you know what we think of that. Okay. Here is the signage, officially opening June 10th, the Velocicoaster. Coaster. But today, the first ever park guest pass holders get to write it uh, the group you see here I believe they are in the time slot before us there was one time slot before us they have already gathered getting ready to have their turn on this brand new species of roller coaster now one thing I am hoping for after we write it and we have other pass holders who have written it I want to interview them right to get their perspective on the coaster not just my thoughts I want to get as many different like opinions as I can that's awesome. Hopefully it works out. Right, and we'll be live streaming at the same time, so yes. we're going to try to get both. <laughs> we'll see, we see how all that works out. It's going to be challenging. It will. And it looks like they just released the gates. The first group of people walking towards the Velocicoaster right now. Right, like that guy right there. He can't wait. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Have fun, man. We've got two dinos just roaming around the park. Check out these guests. They are really getting the uh, the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park mood. Awesome. Oh, no, they're fighting. I thought I heard some screams, so maybe the first group of pass holders are on the coaster. Let's go over here to the Hogsmeade's Bridge and see if we can see anyone on it, you know, as it goes by um, the three broomsticks. Yes, I see pass holders on that. It's happening. 
Yes. Going around that wave turn. All right. Our turn to be very, very soon. Also, I wanted to come to this bridge just so I could walk this way and say welcome to Jurassic Park. Okay, they have allowed the 930 people into the queue, or at least the starting queue. Full of happy team members, uh, actually pass holders. Full of pass holders now. We are done with team member previews on to pass holders. Oh, I'm so excited. We got a couple of dinosaurs escaped right in front of us. There they are. Remember them earlier from the uh, video. Oh, here we go. Hello. Hi. Oh, we've got the raptors up here. The signage. Velocicoaster. Again, those escape dinos. Oh, here's the test seat. Want to give that a try, Nikki? <clears throat> Before you enter the queue, there is the test seat. Oh, that's it. Now, I should have been the one testing. I am a little bit bigger than Nikki, but just wanted to show you the test seat. Oh, we'll get behind the dinos again. We're, we're following these guys. Who got these guys out? <laughs> there they are. I don't know what species they are. Wait, what's their names? Scott and Jen. Scott and Jen. So we have a species of Scott and a species of dinosaur called Jen. I'm going to be quiet just for a second and let you experience this cue as if you were in it yourself. To the four raptors, we have a little homage to the top hat. Scan your ticket. This is one time we don't want the line to go fast. We're now a little deeper into the queue. All types of Easter eggs in here. We have Dr. Grant's book. And then Ian Malcolm's book is right up here as well. Have a pioneer right here. Come on to the ultimate state of the art thing. Oh, this is the part everyone loves. Oh, here we are. Oh, 
Okay, it's time to put things away. We are at Locker Bank. Yellow, yellow Locker Bank, awesome. This is where we must say goodbye. There are metal detectors, so we need to put things away. But we'll see you on the other side of the Velocicoaster. Okay, <laughs> we just got off our first ever run of the Velocicoaster. My first reaction, the first thing I think of is, I want to get right back on, for real. Again, again, again. <laughs> yes, I, I, oh, I wish I could go right back on it. So oh. smooth. Um, my favorite moments were the, we were, oh, by the way, there is a separate line for the front row. Yes. So we waited for that. Yes, we were lucky enough to be able to get it. Front row Velocicoaster. Uh, I love going over the top hat. Oh, so fantastic. Oh my gosh. I love the, um, I think it's a zero, G zero G gravity, gravity stall. stall. Yeah, I think that, <laughs> that's over here when you're like upside yeah. down for like a hundred feet. Yeah. Uh, I like that part, and then, oh, what was the other part? I can't remember. Uh, it's escaping me right now. There's three really good parts that I like. Right, exactly. I can't remember. I liked it all, honestly. <laughs> it was so funny. Okay, so the G-forces was literally pulling my, like, my ponytail, like, holder, yeah. out of my hair. It, it, it was crazy. My hair was standing straight on it. It was amazing. It was so funny. I couldn't even talk. When I got off, I was really, like, lightheaded. Oh, um, there it goes, there it goes. Here it comes. There it is. So fantastic! I like, you know what, I just like the uh, like the airtime moments were awesome. Gotcha, yeah! Um, Adam? Adam? And Joel. Adam and Joel just got off of the Velocicoaster. What did you guys think? Amazing, new favorite ride. Oh yeah. What was your favorite part of the ride? I had like two or three favorite parts. What was yours? First of all, that heart lap over the river. The that aesthetics are perfect. The airtime is like immense. And the, uh, the top hat, the airtime in the... Oh, here it comes. Hold on. Let's watch it go by. Woo! Thanks for bringing up the heart line roll. That's the part that's escaped my mind. I like the top hat going... We were in the front row. Going over the top hat, and then this, like, I think it's the zero gravity stall here, and the heart line. Those are my three favorite parts. I like the uh, second launch. Amazing. It's so fast. You don't expect it. Yeah. Least. And then it hits you, and you're like, wow. <laughs> I also got in the front row. It is just so good. We're riding again um, right now, so we're going to try and get in the back row. Oh, really? Good, good. I think, I think uh, for this coaster, most definitely the front row, right? Probably, I'm yeah. Kidding. Just, just from the view of going over the top hat. My name is Mary Ann, and I just got done with the Velocicoaster, and my favorite part was probably whenever we twisted over the water. It was like so. The, the Heartline roll, then. Yeah. That was your favorite. It was amazing, and I, like it was so fast. I didn't recognize that we were like going so fast up, but then you just dropped. I was like, whoa, that's just like happened. <laughs> Like, it is amazing. It is a must ride. Awesome. awesome. Thank you guys so much. Look who we ran into. The designer, the man himself, Greg. Hey, so hey. what's your favorite part of this ride? Man, there's so many new elements in this ride. Um, it's just so many surprises. I, you know, I don't have one. It's so revival. You know, I just want to thank me and my team, my, 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 and Shelby, and everyone. You know, I really love all of working for it. It took a group effort to do this. Aw, oh, so humble, so awesome. Oh, really, I love it. Really it. You did a fantastic job. It was incredible. Part here, I'm not that far, but is that the zero G stall? The inverted stall? Yeah. yeah, that's my favorite part. Yeah. I love that part. Yeah. I have three parts. Yeah. It's the, um, the zero G stall, the top hat coming over, yeah. and the, uh, the barrel roll. Oh, yeah, the barrel roll. Yeah, the oh, barrel roll was... It was insane. I was starting to lose my hair tie on that barrel wall. I was like, oh, my hair's going everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's, it's something really unique. And um, yeah, we're, we're really excited for everyone. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you did a fantastic job. So proud of you. Yeah. Thank you for an awesome ride. <laughs> no problem. Here's another legend we have. Got Owen here. Always posing for the Facebook annual householder Facebook page. So fantastic. So what'd you think? Best roller coaster in Universal. I, I don't know if I'm gonna get, you know, I don't know, <laughs> shame for this, but it's better than Hagrid's. All right. I thought the same thing 
too, and I'm a true Hagrid's fan. Me too. Uh, and you know what? What's great about it is I love how they incorporated so many Jurassic Park elements. You know, the rumor is there might be a Jurassic universe here. They're going to keep Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. They definitely did that with this ride. At the end, there's like a little Easter egg that they talk about what's going on over at River Adventure. I really like that. Oh, I missed cool. it. What was it? I so, uh, the uh, Dallas Clark, what's her name in the movie? Oh, Bryce Dallas Howard, uh, yes. Claire. Claire. Uh, let's Owen know that there's a problem going on over at River Adventure and that they have to go over there and fix that. So oh, I really man. like how they incorporated that a lot. Uh, there's definitely a lot of Jurassic Park elements in the queue, like uh, Dr. Alan Grant, his novel is in one of the lockers in the queue. Yes! The Raptor animatronic that's in the queue, unbelievable. I oh, the detail! It's insane! I had to like double check to make sure that wasn't a real Raptor that I was know. in the queue. I'm like, how do they do this? You know, like Universal, you know. discombobulated after the back row. Yes! Um, but the front row though was just pure adrenaline rush. Uh, I mean, I loved it either way. If I had to ride, if they made me choose, I would choose the front row. Got you. But For sure. I would still ride the back row though, if I got the chance. So nice! Okay. All right! Excellent awesome. ride, 10 out of 10. Oh, perfect. Thanks, guys! All right, All right so Mara is here. What did you think of it? It was awesome. It was awesome, huh? What ride, what row? Uh, we rode, I rode third. Okay. My brother, he rode second. Gotcha. And um, what was your favorite part? My favorite part yeah. is the beginning where it launched you. Like, yeah. Like, really quickly. Exactly. And that one, like, that. Yeah, the upside down, the long. The, and it felt like you were gonna fall in the, the zero G stall, or the old one over the water. Yeah. So yeah. that's, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the barrel roll, roll one. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. What did you guys think of it? It was amazing. The it's amazing? Time, yeah, amazing? Perfect. Yes. And you said you closed your eyes? Yes. <laughs> it's a good coping strategy, right? I know. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Hello, I'm former. How you doing? They rode the coaster first, the, the Velasa coaster first thing this morning. Yeah, Taylor. I thought it was really fun. Uh -huh. uh, my favorite part was the top half. Okay. Right, you've been on it, right? Yes, I've rode it twice. Yeah. How's that your favorite part? I have three favorite parts, but that's one of them. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then the roll over the water. That's my other favorite. Yep, How agreed. Yes, the third. The third one is the inverted zero G stall. Okay, the yeah, long. That's a fun part as well. yeah. 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 The second, the first time we went front row. Did you go front row? I did second row. Okay. Front row, I thought was better. First time I went front row, then I went back row. I thought the front row was better because that view from the top hat is amazing. Yeah. yeah. With you being seat two or row two, probably was pretty good too. Yeah. And what I was surprised about the, the, the top hat is I didn't really notice the part going up. Uh -huh. I just turned to my right and I was like, oh, I'm at the top of the top uh -huh. hat. Like I was like, oh, wow. Right? Exactly. 
Like, I don't remember watching up really. Gotcha. It was just all blur. <laughs> <laughs> the second, now the second time I went all back row. Okay. And I wrote print the whole thing with my arms up, which I never do on a poster, but I thought I would try it since the lap bar and the, a lot of the airtime moments. It was pretty cool. I felt like I was going to touch the water, but I didn't. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people have asked like, how much airtime you yeah. get. Like, you, you, get, you get a lot. I mean, so, obviously you're going to say this is a great addition to the park, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you play favorites? Do you name that this one's better than others? Do you need favorite? Or? I don't know. I'm torn with Packers. Like, I think Packers on one. I think they're very different. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, this how I said it was similar but different, both a lot of fun. Velocicoaster <laughs> is a little more thrill. Yeah, 100%. And Velocicoaster is newer. And faster. Yeah. Now, the, my favorite part of Hagrid is, uh, I think the most thrilling part actually is that backward launch section. Yeah. That one almost gets my tummy a little bit there. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't, honestly, there wasn't any part of Velocicoaster that really got my stomach. Right, yeah, that lose kind of your strange. stomach type yeah. of thing. No, I agree. You get those airtime moments without losing your stomach, I think. Yeah. All right, so here we go. You guys just got off. What'd you think? It was very, very intense. It was way more intense than I thought I would. Okay. Um, I usually go on the Hulk. I love it. Always love it. <laughs> on that, wait, it's like when you get on the Hulk, when you're going up, that yeah. intensity. This ride is like that the entire, the entire time. time. Okay. That's how it is for me. Uh, Definitely. It's like a special occasion type ride. Not sure I would do it every time I come to the park. I'll yes. always do Hagrid. It's always do cold. Okay. You guys, this is way more intense than the whole. Yeah. Way more intense. Awesome. Well, Definitely thank you for the opinion. Though. I love it. That's awesome. Thank Thanks, guys. Bye. Okay, so we've got Michaela and Sandra from Orlando and Farmer. So what did you guys think of the ride? Phenomenal. Worth all of the hype, I think. I yeah. mean, I know. It's just so thrilling. Hagrid's is still like great theming, phenomenal coaster, but as far as the thrill ride coaster, it's like so overwhelming. Yeah. I agree. It exceeded my expectations and they were very high to start with. Yeah. And it was just like a blur of action and speed and it was so much fun. So many different elements. Like yeah. it was like the top hat, the barrel roll, and it just kept coming and you're like, oh my god, it's still not done. Exactly. What'd you guys think of the um, the pre-show? Yeah, uh, like the queue? Was yeah, the queue and then like, out. yeah. So <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious! They were running at one point, but the rafters um, and the, the metal constraints were just so yeah, like, awesome. so realistic, right? So and you get there's to a lot of little like Easter eggs. They have all oh, I know. Props in the queue. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably so many that we missed just right. going through. You know, just this one time. Yeah. That you'll have to go through so many times again. Yeah, so get much it all. rewritability for sure. Oh, I'm gonna be yeah. going on this again and again. It's one of those rides that you're not gonna get sick of, just like Hagrid. You know? yeah. See, I felt the same way. Yeah, I love absolutely. The Universal's going in. Like I. Oh, I know. Like keep up with the coasters. We now, love did, it. Yes. did you guys hear about the little Easter egg at the end where yeah. Owen and Claire were talking and that that they might? talking about oh, like, something right. that's happening yeah. over there. Yeah. Okay, we have a situation at River Adventure. Exactly, so it makes you go. Exactly, it's gonna be so great. Good. Well, thanks guys, I appreciate oh, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, have a great one. Here's Stacy. she just got off the Velocicoaster. What'd you think? Okay, I I loved it. I am not afraid to ride anything. I will ride any ride. Okay, that's good. The only thing I didn't love is I did feel like if I like didn't have my knees locked, like I could fall out. I ah, okay. You feel like you could fall out? I kind of did. Scary. Did you did you guys experience that? I didn't that? feel that at all. Okay. No, I didn't feel like I was gonna fall out not one time. Okay, but it but was it, it was the most intense ride I've probably ever been on. But I, I loved it. But see now I appreciate the differing of opinion. I mean, it, you know, because a lot of people have really enjoyed it, but yeah. to hear that you thought that it was really intense and that you were a little shaky on it in terms of maybe we'll wanting to fall out yeah yeah or feeling like, of falling out i know people were nervous about the lap part of what i saw online but i was right. like oh, i'm not that nervous but then i was on i was like okay i'm a little nervous <laughs> but it was really fun I but overall like out of 10 what would you give it uh i'd give it a, I'd, only because of that reason i'd probably give it a nine but that's okay. it perfect the queue the queue i give 10 out of 10. nice those graphics yeah. look so real everywhere. so real yes yeah. Yeah. So great. Well, thank you, Stacy. We appreciate it. I've been trying to find you guys for a while now. Thank you. Barrel roll, like that was. I've never felt anything like that. <laughs> right. I did it the second time. I did it with my hands up. And then going over the water, it was like whoa. Like, <laughs> exactly.
exactly. And then the part here where you get close to the rock. Yes, yeah, like, I did that. I did it too. I so did Matthew. I pulled them down. I was afraid of hitting the rock. Matthew yeah. Fernandez did the exact same thing. He's like, oh, he's squinching down. I'm too tall. Because yeah, we're tall. Exactly. We got good you and I. Amaris, and what did you think of it? It was amazing. It was everything I've been waiting for. Yeah. Now, what did you think of like the the zero G, the hang time? That was insane. It was. I didn't expect it to be that strong. Right. But it just. It was so. <laughs> I know, right? It's it's breathtaking. It, I don't have words. It's so amazing. Yeah. It was much, <laughs> I got off and I was like, oh my god! I cried through the entire queue. <gasps> oh. When they first were like rumoring this, I was like, oh my god, because I love Jurassic Park. So. Exactly. It brings out all the emotions, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so emotional right now. <laughs> I'm Thomas. Yeah, what'd you guys think? It was amazing. I was really nervous to ride it. Me too. It was everything I hoped it would be more. Oh, that's awesome. What's your favorite part of the ride? Uh, I like the Heartline roll. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. intense, right? I saw it coming up and I was like, oh, here it comes. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it was so intense. Like literally, my ponytail was like coming out. That's how like the the G's were pulling. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I got the ride, she was like, "I was so worried about my ponytail. Hold her coming on." You do? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, thanks, guys. I didn't even get them. <laughs> so, how, what'd you think? You just got off of it. It is, it's unlike any other roller coaster like ever made. It is, it takes you out of your seat so many times. It's like super fast. You just have to experience it for yourself. You really so, can't describe it. Exactly, I know, right? Yeah. So what like is your favorite part of the ride? The barrel roll. The barrel roll, exactly. What do you think of the queue? The queue is very immersive and yes. it's very well done. It moves really quickly. Yeah. The locker system is like, it's beautiful. Right, and it tells like an awesome story yes. too, like the pre-show to get you ready. It's yeah. so great. Oh, and the part with the raptors. Yes. It, 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 it looks so real. I know, it's insane. Yes. All right, cool, thank you. Well, my eyes are getting weary and my back is getting tight. So it is time to end this vlog, this Velocicoaster reaction vlog. That's right. Thank you for all the work you did with it, Nikki. Oh, I hope it turns out. I feel like you did most of the work. We'll see how good it is. I'm gonna have you do some more work. Do the outro. <laughs> that was the magic, that was the fun. Hey, I'm Kendallin. I'm Christian. Don't, don't miss, miss the, the magic, magic don't, don't miss the fun. fun. Don't, don't miss, miss the magic, don't, don't miss the fun. Woo! Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and now it is time to relax. Yeah.